Congress tonight, we're slowly beginning to return to the new normal in Alabama. Today, Governor Ivey announced more restrictions being lifted from her safer at home order. More businesses are able to reopen and activities allowed, including sporting events, entertainment venues, and the like. News 5's Amber Grigley breaks it down for us. Well, this amended safer at home order goes into effect. Friday evening, May 22nd until July 3rd, Governor Ivey says this is a move to further reopen the state and adjust to our new normal. Entertainment venues, athletics, child care facilities, and camps will be able to open in some form with strict guidelines. For entertainment, bowling alleys, arcades, concert venues, theaters, and tourist attractions, just to name a few, will have to comply with at least 50% occupancy. Employees must wear face coverings with necessary sanitation measures as provided by the CDC. Child care facilities and camps will have to comply with strict social distancing guidelines in order to operate. As far as athletics, face coverings are required for coaches and players, and practices may resume. Governor Ivey stated there will still be restrictions for nursing homes as they are still considered a hot spot for COVID-19. She also mentioned troubling numbers for the state economically. With more than 500,000 Alabamians filing for unemployment and nearly $2 billion in payments to those unemployed. For some, this news is great news for many businesses eager to get back to work. But for others, they still fear that this call may be premature. That the uh, economy is important. But also, I think that the uh, information that the CDC is putting out, I think that the country should uh, abide by this information and act accordingly to what the CDC says. Politicians have their view on what they need to do first for recovery. But if you're, you're ill or you're dead, you don't have a chance, I think. We as for the numbers, Governor Ivey did say they are not what they hoped for, but she wants everyone to make the best decision while heading out. That means practice social distancing, wash your hands, and if you feel sick, please stay at home. The best advice to help minimize the spread of COVID-19. But for now, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5.